Are you ever just looking for a little peace and quiet? The truth is you have to go a long way to find absolute silence. Jeff Gore went looking at the great outdoors at Olympic National Park in Washington State. He also spent some time indoors in the world's quietest room. Jeff, good morning. Charlie, good morning to you. These two places are drastically different. One is perfect natural sound, no man-made sound. The other is artificial, but both offer something we hardly ever experience today, the actual sound of silence. Deep in the rainforest of Olympic National Park, in the northwest corner of Washington State, there's a place that to Gordon Hampton means everything, because there is nothing. One square inch of silence was a dream for a long time. This tiny plot of land, a five-hour drive from Seattle, a two-hour hike after that, is what Hampton says is the single quietest place in the lower 48 states. Why is this area so quiet? Well, because it's in the corner of the United States, and it also gets so much cloud cover. And once we approach the location, Hampton allows no one to speak. If you speak or you start, like, doing the zipper thing, if I catch you checking your email or anything like that, you're going to get the look. It'll haunt you for the rest of your life, so don't even try it. You want no sound like that? Actually, I want only the sounds of nature. It sounds like this. When you put the headphones on, I was, it was an awakening. <laughs> it's unbelievable <laughs> what you hear, right? Do you get that reaction a lot? I get that reaction all the time. I mean, I was, I, I was hearing things okay. that I'd never heard right. before. Hampton's been tracking the sounds of silence for 30 years, looking for locations where nature is uninterrupted by man-made noise. He says they're disappearing fast. Noise pollution has increased to unprecedented levels in this country, where noise-induced hearing loss is now the number one occupational illness. So I think as the world is getting noisier and noisier and we feel the assault, we really realize, you know what? Quiet is an essential quality of life. There are no quiet places. This is the room on the right. Well, there is one. It's freaky looking. It is. But it's by no means natural. First of all, why are we floating? <laughs> because this is what's called a full anechoic chamber. Located at Orfield Laboratories in Minneapolis, the world's quietest room is completely soundproof. Decibel levels can reach an incredible negative nine. Compare that to 72 decibels of background noise at the airport. 59 in a car, 57, if you're lucky, in a quiet office. This is the only place you'll ever be where the only thing you hear is the source of the sound and you hear no background noise level. Anechoic chambers can test almost any product, even an Air Force plane, but not everyone can handle this one. People go nuts in here. People could. <laughs> After just a few minutes. There are people who've walked into the room uh, taken one step onto the floor, said they were disoriented and they didn't want to be in here and they walked out. Total silence can be so jarring that some experience hallucinations. Orfield says the longest an outsider has lasted inside the chamber is 45 minutes. So we let him lock me in. Yeah, we hear you. Orfield and the production crew monitored my progress via headphones. The guy here his stomach very long and didn't free me until 46 minutes later. It's bright. <laughs> Coming in and assaulting me with the camera? That's right. So tell me about your experience. Did um, you hear your heartbeat? I definitely heard my body, bodily sounds. Right. I guess the bottom line is it is very difficult mm -hmm. to achieve silence. It is. It's very difficult. The world, in my view, it's way too loud. 1,600 miles away, Gordon Hempton might not be able to hear us, but it sounds like he agrees. There is a tremendous momentum that's been created by industry that's telling you that noise is important. 
play it loud, be loud, live loud. Well, quiet is the new loud. I love this piece. Me too. Was it jarring for you when you got, and I mean this very seriously, when yeah. you got back to New York City, yeah. because you live, you live in the city yeah. too, did you start to notice sounds you hadn't before? Gordon says he can teach you to listen to things that you haven't heard before. And so I put those headphones on, and really I did hear things that I haven't heard before. And he says that if you listen enough, if you open yourself up and listen enough, that he can train you to hear those things. That's what bird watchers do. Yeah. Mm. Uh, it's a training process. Yeah. What, what? I, go ahead, go ahead, no. Jordan. I love the thing in the piece where you said that quiet is an essential quality of life yeah. because your stomach gurgling, which, by the way, I'm glad you clarified because I'm yes. like, what the heck? <laughs> That's what that was. No, you're inside there. You hear, you hear your heart beats. You, you hear your stomach gurgle. And then what happens is, is that because there's no sound, your ears start to manufacture sound that isn't actually there. Yeah, and that's what can really mess you up. So I was starting to hear something in my left ear because your ears and your mind creates those sounds. And in some cases, it can create those images. Those are the uh, hallucinations. So you could even tell which, which ear it was yeah. when that was happening? What kind of yeah. sound was it? I was sort of a low rumble. I, it, it sounded like a machine that was to my left. And I don't think it was. And I think it was something that was, it was a compensation. Could you have lasted another? 45 minutes? Oh, yeah. You could. No, it, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. Uh, Molly forced me out because she said we had more to shoot. Um, <laughs> Molly, so Molly I was, Cordero is your producer. The, the, the producer. So, you know, it's, it, it's, a, it's a jarring experience. It is very, very unusual to sit in there, no doubt about it. It's completely different than the natural silence yeah, we I talked like about, which is no man-made sounds. Yeah, I like that. Can anybody go with Gordon, or did he just allow you? Can anybody do that? You can, anybody can go up there. Now, Gordon guards this place um, very carefully, and he does doesn't want people, he really doesn't want them to speak around there. But if you want to go, it's in the Ho Rainforest in Olympic National Park. It is a hike to get there, there's no I'm doubt sorry. about it. But it is truly gorgeous. And when you sit there mm -hmm. and listen. That's a beautiful piece. While we were watching the piece, there was total silence That's in true. this room. Yeah. Doesn't happen that much, does it? No, it doesn't. <laughs> Not with Tony, it doesn't. <laughs> Tony, he's very chatty, Tony is. Thank you, Jeff. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, guys. From the